Did you know that a potential borrower makes a decision about your credibility within four seconds of hitting your website? Not only is it important to have a website these days, it's important to have a website that stands out. So today I want to show you guys how easy it is to create your own website without any coding knowledge using Be In Touch's new website manager. The website manager can be found within your options tab. And if you don't see it there, it's because it's not activated. All new features can be activated within the modules section. If you don't have access to the section, get in touch with your account owner or manager and they can activate the website manager for your team. Let's go ahead and get started. So within options, we're going to click on the website manager. And this will be the default screen if you don't have a website set up. The first thing you need to do is get a domain name, which you can get from GoDaddy or a plethora of other places. There will be some resources and training and support if you do not know how to purchase a domain name that'll walk you through that. We have a test domain name that we're going to use here and then you're going to create a password that'll allow you to get into the admin section of your website to make edits and changes and add text whatever you need to do. And then here we have these very nice modern templates for you to choose from. They're plug and play guys. You, they come already set up and then you can just change the text to fit your business and your offerings. I'm a fan of the second one here. And then simply just save and continue and that will create your base website. Once that goes through, you'll be taken to your website management area. This is sort of your dashboard, your main hub where you're gonna get all the, the information you need uh, at an overview level. So here you can change the preferences of your site. You can see the username. You can show the password that you created if you forgot it. And then here is the admin panel where you can log in to make edits to certain pages, change the text, images, whatever you need to do. You can always edit your template here between our, our four base templates. We'll be adding more soon. And then your general information about your site, your domain name. Here's a walkthrough. Uh, a text walkthrough so you can get screenshots play by play step by step how to make specific changes outside of this video and then down here you have your statistics section which is really really cool guys it's right in your hub easy to access you can see how many people go to your website how many pages they view how many new sessions how many people bounce from the first page and then the session duration along with some bar graphs here of who's new and who's returning to your website again and again. All pretty straightforward. Again, plug and play. Now let's get into the admin panel and we'll show you guys how to actually make changes and edits to the website. So when you click on this, it'll bring you to this list of all the different pages you have on your website. A lot of these you don't need to worry about. The best way to really get a sense of what is there is to actually go to your newly created website and then you can see what pages you have already set up for you and then you'll match that. So let's say I wanted to edit the About Us page. You can go back here and you'll see these pages here will match up with the pages on the actual website. So About Us and then to edit you, clickly, you simply click on that, there it is, pencil button, and you'll be brought into this website editor, this text editor that's that set up just how your emails are set up, okay? Um, so these are meta tags. This is just going to insert the automatic page titles, right? So that's going to insert About Us. It's right there. Um, and then you can change any of the text that you want here. You can add stuff. You know, you can insert files, emoticons, videos. The same way that the, that the email text editor works, really simple. And then when you're done, you just save. And that'll apply the changes to your website. Um, and then as soon as you publish, that'll send everything you've done. So you can edit five pages in here, make sure everything looks right. And then you're going to publish your website up there. And that'll make the changes. Okay. You can edit the menu of your website. So this is going to be this top part up here, your navigation bar. Um, and this might look a little complicated at first, but it's pretty simple. Each of these main headers here is going to associate directly with these links on the top of your nav bar. 
and then these subcategories here. So let's say this is purchase. We have purchase and purchase checklist. These are separate pages, and these are going to show up in the drop down sections. Okay. So let's say I wanted to get rid of the purchase checklist. All I have to do is X that out. Okay, and then to add it back, these are going to be the list of all of our pages on the previous page. So we'll go ahead and find the purchase checklist here, and we're going to add that as a drop down. Very simple. And if we wanted to add a new item from this you know, link category, the actual nav bar at the top, not a drop down, you'll select a page. So we're going to add a contact us page. And then you'll see it'll add right there to the bottom. You can move these by clicking these arrows, and that'll change the order that they show up in here. So if you wanted to move contact us right behind about us, you would just click it up one, two, three times, and it'll show up right there. And these three will move backwards. Again, pretty simple, straightforward stuff, guys. When you're done, you save and you publish, and that's how you're going to edit your navigation bar. You're going to add new pages right here, edit, delete. Pretty much five different options you can do. You publish, you're done, you can come back here, your website will be up. Hope that was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, get in touch with us. Have a great rest of your day.